think over the past few decades, sneaker culture hasn't really changed that much, but the treasure hunting aspect of it definitely has disappeared. 自分が生まれるよりも前に出てるものも何かをきっかけにそれが好きになったらとことん歴史を掘り下げてその追求する姿勢っていうのが日本人っぽい。What I really appreciate about Japanese culture is not only are they really into like the newest, freshest things, of course, but they always manage to dig deep into the history of things. They really want to know why it was made, the concept, the ideas behind everything, and they just have a finer, deeper appreciation for all of these things, especially sneaker culture. My name is Jeff Staple. I'm the founder and creative director of Staple Design and Read Space, and I'm working with Airwalk Classics on bringing back the brand for their 30th anniversary. Name is Kuni Shigeuki. Today, Airwalk is a Airwalk Classic in the Fukuoka of the Project. So, in the 90s, you saw these different pockets of culture existing skate, hip hop, punk rock, all very separate. But what happened in the 90s was they started to actually mesh and mash up together. And to me, that mash up of those cultures is street culture. What is K? Or a Japanese word that was used in Japan. For example, hip hop, skate, K. So, in other words, they were influenced by different cultures. And they were able to mesh and mash up together. And they were able to mesh and mash up together. And they were able to mesh and mash up together. ストリートカルチャーって誰かが作ったものじゃなくて本当に自然発生的にいろいろなものがその折り重なって出来上がったものだから誰かがコントロールできるものじゃないと僕は思ってて僕ら大人はすぐこうだって定義をつ,くつけたがるけどなんかそういうものにとらわれないもっと自由なものになるような気がする。例えばもともと本来はスポーツから出てきているもので例えばモードみたいなファッションのものが今クロスオーバーもう普通にしちゃうような時代でじゃあそれがストリートなのかモードなのかとかそのファッションの分類で分けたとしたらそれも定義が曖昧になってるしなんかもともと発展途上のものっていうのはみんな手探りだから正解がある意味なくて自由だったと思うんですよね。僕たちはそのエアウォークに対してそのまあスケートっていう側面だけじゃなくてスニーカーとしての側面としてまあいろんな意味合いでエアウォークに対してすごく引きつけられていて日本の,そのスケートカルチャーの創世期化ですごく輝いてたエアウォークアメリカで作られたものが日本に渡ってきて独自性を持ったスケートカルチャーとして発展してた時のエアウォークに注目しているっていう感じですかね僕たちが好きだったエアウォークっていうのはこういうのだったよねっていうのを形にしようって立ち上がったのがエアウォーククラシックで僕たちが今やってるのって過去にあったものを、まあ、履き心地は今風にはしているけど、まあ、過去のものをなぞっているだけなんですよね現在進行形のエアウォークっていうものをアメリカからまた日本に入ってくればお互い相乗効果で。So when Airwalk America asked me to come on and help them to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the brand, I knew I had to talk to the guys in Airwalk Japan to see what they were doing. They were really doing some amazing stuff with the brand. They were doing collaborations with the likes of Beauty and Youth and Hollywood. So I wanted to take what they were doing and then bring it back to America, which is very ironic because it's an American brand that they referenced in the first place. Now we're referencing them with this Design in Japan collection. 結局、まあ、それを起点に、まあ、アメリカから本当ジェフがそのクリエイティブディレクターに就任したっていう話を聞いた時は僕たちとしては本当にもうすごいもう最高だなと思ってて本当にいろいろなカルチャーを分かってる人がエアウォークをこういうふうにディレクションしてくれると、まあ、今後すごい期待もできるし。So when Airwalk asked me to be part of this 30th anniversary collection to relaunch Airwalk Classics, it was very important for me that the California culture DNA was in there. Skate culture, surf culture, it was born from this. I didn't want to deviate off of that. Me being from New York City though, I had to infuse my sneaker culture heritage, my fashion heritage into this brand as well. And of course I have great respect for what Japan does in the Designed in Japan collection. My job is really to merge all three of these cultures into one product line, and that's what Airwalk Classics is. 